There's nothing quite like throwing yourself into the last drop of summer. But this isn't just another summer camp. I can speak in Ukrainian, I can speak English. This is a little slice of Ukraine in Ontario. This is the closest I've been to Ukraine in a long time. The people, the atmosphere, just the way people behave and act, it's very close to how I grew up. <laughs> Olena Propachuk and Vasilina Kremenyuk never knew each other in Ukraine. Here, they have become fast friends. When you grow up in a bubble of one country and you move across the world, it kind of bursts that bubble and having people to recreate a new bubble with you helps a lot. The joy of camp, a welcome break from darker thoughts. As she made her way to Poland, Kremenyuk narrowly missed a missile attack. I used to think about it a lot, like, oh my God, I could have died. It's bad to shove down your emotions, but it's just easier to stop thinking about it at all and go on with life. Since Russia invaded Ukraine six months ago, Northumberland for Ukraine has taken in 31 families. This is daddy. The group wanted to make sure the children had a proper summer before starting a new school year in a new country. Organizer, Alana Hukinski. Trauma is, is very complicated, as we all know. Being displaced from one's home is something that many of us can't really appreciate. And so just giving, giving these kids that sense of joy, even for a few days, a few hours, I think is the best gift you can give. This camp, a chance to embrace their new country while honoring the one they left behind. A daily struggle for many of the new arrivals. There's a lot of internal conflict. They're very grateful to Canada. They're very grateful to be in our community and to be safe. But of course, they dream of being home. In the kitchen, a taste of that home. Pierogies are pinched as Alexander Demida preps camp staples like grilled cheese. They are having their childhood. That's what actually the war took away from almost all of our ch children. Demida was a flight attendant in Ukraine. Now in Ontario, she just got her food handling certificate. She's worried about her husband back home, but she's determined to make the best of it here for her two boys. I cannot cry all the time because it will like, I don't know, uh, I can come to some, I don't know, some point like when I will be like, oh, I don't want to do anything or something like that. I don't have time for that things, you know, so I have to go ahead, I have to move forward because these guys should have future for sure and they will have it. So as long as we're here already, why not? That desire to move forward shared by Kremenyuk, eager to start high school and stay put. We already started a new life here, so why start over and go through all that pain again? Because you already made friends here, you already have close people to you here. Why do it all over again? Friendships forged around a fire. Memories of home and hopes for the future burn bright in a new country. Katie Nicholson, CBC News, Grafton, Ontario.